Hi, this is Brian Forster, and it's another exploration of Cusco, Peru, looking at different time periods of construction and the different materials utilized. Now, we're actually above the city of Cusco here. There is the giant site of Sacsayhuaman or Sacsayhuaman in the background. And we're at one of the oldest colonial Spanish churches, the upper work is adobe, the lower work is recycled Inca building stones. And as we approach the main part of the church, again we're going to see that the foundation that the Spanish used was the foundation stones of the Inca construction, but the gray stone on top is actually basalt from a much older megalithic construction. So again, the gray stones are from the megalithic works, and then the lighter colored stone is recycled from Inca works. The Inca were not able to e uh, efficiently shape the basalt, but they were able to break up the lighter stone and use it in their foundation. Look at the odd one with the pyramid shape, clearly recycled from a much older construction. There is a sun symbol carved into stone by the Inca, and above, and above the, uh, the darker gray stonework is from the megalithic time period. Now we're starting to walk into the oldest part of colonial Cusco. The foundations, to some degree, are Inca originally, and then the lighter color that you see there is adobe construction done by the Spanish colonial people. And the foundation work is recycled from Inca constructions. Now as we walk through the streets of Cusco, again we see Inca foundation work. The Spanish decided that the Inca work was good enough for their foundation, so they didn't take them down. And in the case of this other colonial Spanish church, again we have recycled Inca building stone but also some megalithic stone as well. The megalithic work was done in basalt once again. And that's what you can see here. You can see the Inca foundation and then the later Spanish addition above. And here we're getting close to the core of Cusco and this is a megalithic construction what's left of a megalithic wall, once again made out of very hard basalt stone. And here we have an Inca construction, actually made out of basalt, but you can see that it's relatively rough in comparison to what we're going to see next. And that is this corner. You can see massive, very well-shaped blocks with no mortar, you can't even fit a human hair in the joinery. And here again, a much older megalithic construction, relatively tight fitting stone. And then we have Spanish repair in the center. And then back to the megalithic. The curious knobs that we find on the stones that still defy proper scientific explanation. And there we, we see two more knobs. Now why they're of a different shade, maybe it's because of people handling them over the course of centuries or thousands of years, or possibly some other explanation. Here you have where the Inca reconstructed part of a megalithic stone wall. And here you have Spanish colonial, because the Spanish brought the knowledge of concrete with them from Europe. And this is what's left of another megalithic construction, once again in basalt stone. 
the quarry is actually 50 miles away. And again, you see the very tight fit without any use of mortar whatsoever. And curiously, the wall continues inside a restaurant. So we can see very massive blocks, very tightly fitting, no mortar whatsoever, and actually signs of cataclysmic ancient damage to the structure itself. Look how tightly fitting these stones are. Absolutely incredible. And now we're at the famous Inca Roca wall. Strange discoloration on this granite stone. And as we walk, we see that every stone is a different shape and size. Here we're going past somebody dressed up as an Inca. And again, you can see every stone is a different shape and size, and they fit together incredibly tightly. So this, again, is ancient megalithic construction. As compared to here, an Inca construction. No use of concrete, so it wasn't done by the Spanish, but there is repair work done by the Spanish. And here we see the megalithic wall once again out of granite, and then basalt repair work done during the Inca time period. So Cusco is an incredibly complex and fascinating city. You have the colonial Spanish construction, before that you have the Inca construction, and before that you have the megalithic construction. So the Inca did not find, um, the Inca did find an abandoned megalithic city, and rebuilt it, and that's why they called it Costco, which means the center of the world. Unfortunately, our India tour has been canceled, but may be redone in 2021. In March of 2020, we're going back to Egypt once again to explore all the megalithic wonders. Right after that, it's an exploration of megalithic Israel. And in June of 2020, the annual anti-Rhyme Inca Celebration of the Sun Tour, including exploration, of course, of all of the megalithic sites. And we're doing another tour in Peru and Bolivia in November 2020. Thanks for watching.